Staying on top of this breaking news, an officer shot in Escondido and law enforcement trying to hunt down the suspect, 29-year-old Anastasio Rosas Jr. And you see the images right here. This is what police just released. They want you to take a close look. This is who they're searching for. Multiple agencies have responded. Roads are closed in much of the Escondido area. Very busy uh, cross sections there. And News 8's Chris Groves joining us live with the very latest on the search. Chris, what can you tell us? And Eric Netta, look, we are in the middle of a manhunt here for Rosas and Escondido is the epicenter. It is the location where Rosas shot that police officer allegedly with an AR-15 assault style rifle. Uh, when the news of the officer down was broadcasted uh, on the police radios across the county, there was a number of departments that responded uh, and Escondido police very thankful that they were able to get involved. Take a listen cooperation is unbelievable. Um, when we have this type of incident, an officer's put out in 1199, which is an officer either shot or in, in distress, we will get officers from just about every agency in the county rolling up to assist. And so look, right now, this is a look at who they are looking for. The suspect, Anastasia Rosas Jr., a, uh, again, um, a, male, a Hispanic male in his mid-20s, 5'7", 125, with black hair, brown eyes, last seen, a black, last seen wearing a black long sleeve shirt and with shorts. Again, last seen in the area of Morning View Drive in Lincoln Avenue, outstanding. I believe to be still armed with that AR-15. I've been talking with the captain here off camera that you just heard from. Uh, uh, and a, a, a number of uh, different kind of facts about this case that are r really uh, just hard to believe. First of all, that officer that was shot by Rosas, uh, we're told had to be actually transported by the fellow officers that responded to this domestic disturbance call, got him to the Escondido Police Department, and then got him into an ambulance at the hospital where he currently is right now. Again, supposedly in good spirits, has already been uh, visited by the police chief, Ed Barso, here of Escondido Police department and again we've got a lot of police officers in this area looking for that man that they believe shot this police officer again believed to still be armed they have not recovered that weapon so sometimes when you have these manhunts here uh, when they're following the trail you'll sometimes see that weapon discarded but they are still warning everybody to not approach this man if you know anything about him to call the police to give that information to them so that they can try to get him into custody to end this manhunt uh, now we are in the midst of team coverage here uh, with this manhunt that is going on here after this officer was shot here in Escondido and part of that team coverage is Allison Royal joining us uh, from really just uh, down the street here uh, in the midst of this all going on right now. Allison, what can you tell us? Good morning, Chris. Well, quite a few police officers are here. We actually, you just missed it. We just saw what looks like a SWAT tank drive by. I mean, there are police officers up all and down this road. So many police cars and so many responding agencies, as you mentioned, when one of their own is hurt, the amount of responding agencies that step up is just pretty unbelievable. And I would argue that there are actually less police cars here now on city center park or center city parkway rather than there were maybe an hour ago. So officers have canvassed this area for blocks. They are looking for Anastasio Rosas, 29 years old, black long sleeve t-shirt and shorts. If you see him, he might be armed with an AR-15 type weapon. Of course, please be careful. Police have asked you to not approach him. If you do see him instead, call 911 because he is considered armed and dangerous, especially Especially given this domestic dispute investigation and after allegedly shooting at an officer sitting in a police car. Now, as you mentioned, that officer is expected to be OK and is being treated for these non life threatening injuries. As we learn more about his condition, we will, of course, update you. Now, this is not necessarily a typical morning in Escondido, a place where a lot of people are just out and about walking their dogs, driving to work. This is definitely an inconvenience and a different kind of Monday morning than what people who live around here say. We spoke to a man named Armando and he said that it's usually a pretty quiet neighborhood, but not this morning. Well, they've been keeping me up since 3 a.m. I live like literally back behind here. So they just keep me up since 3 a.m. and that's it. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I woke up and I saw on Facebook. And Rosas is still at large as far as we know. Of course, when we learn more about that investigation, we will bring you that information. Now, I'm going to send it over to Evan here in a minute. They are asking people to ignore Lincoln and Morning View in those surrounding areas if they can. Or maybe give yourself a few more minutes for that commute.